looking upwards towards a green energy future. Wind farms like this one north of Berlin have become a common sight in the German countryside. We have a couple of hundred wind turbines in this area uh, and they produce uh, as much electricity just in this, in this county to produce half the electricity demand of Berlin at night. Renewable energy sources like wind and solar are the backbone of a decades-long program in Germany called the Energiewende or energy transition. Germany's Energiewende has been a success in many ways. Last year, renewables accounted for about 30% of the country's electricity. That's almost five times as much as in the year 2000. But the country's environmental ministry recently warned that it's badly off course on the carbon emissions goals it wants to meet by 2020. The main reason for this is its continued reliance on coal, which produces almost 40% of the country's electricity. Heavy industry is profiting at the moment because we have very cheap energy from very old, dirty, coal-fired power plants. Politicians from most major parties have so far refused to take a stand on the issue. The most common argument against phasing out coal is that German industry and consumers will suffer economically. Some experts say this calls into question what the Energiewende is all about. They argue that Germany is risking its global credibility on climate change. What other countries can perhaps learn here is what you shouldn't do. Germany has invested a lot of money in order to advance wind and solar technology. But now that the technology is ready for the market, we're giving up our position to countries like China because we can't manage the transition away from coal. The international community meeting in Bonn to discuss implementing the Paris Climate Accord will be watching their German hosts to see whether they'll be able to turn their own energy policy around. Iris Bitzer, TRT World, Brandenburg, Germany.